Okay, here's another way to put your logo on your picture. I'm going to start by selecting the rectangle tool, which is hidden sometimes under other icons on the menu. And I'm going to choose a pretty neutral color. And I'm just going to drag that across my picture. Just like that. And you can move it around. And I usually will take the opacity down so that I have just enough color to serve as a backdrop for my text. But um, translucent enough to see what's behind there. That'll be good. Next, I'm going to choose the text tool, type tool, and write my name. Grab the move tool, which is at the top of the menu, and I'm going to change that color. And I'm going to pick a yellow color from Jessica's beautiful shirt. And since it's not quite dark enough, I can kind of toy around with. Um, the colors in the color picker menu. Beautiful. Now I'm going to change the opacity of that down a hair. Because once again, you don't want your logo to be the first thing that jumps out at a picture when someone looks at your work. You want your work to speak for itself. So I'll go with that and then. I can add another text layer for photography and I like to change up my text because like I mentioned in a previous video when you look, read a magazine I mean you have lots of different types of text to keep your attention so the same goes with your pictures there are tons of websites that you can download your text or different fonts from. I have a lot of fun with that. I chose a brown color from her hair and placement wise I think I'll just stick with that. And there you go. That is a third way to add your logo to a picture and I'm just gonna do the shortcut control shift E that merges all the different layers together and then you can save it and once again you're going to save it as a copy rename it so that your original file is not um, editing so I hope that was helpful thank you